Okay, so for your continuous random variable, x, so this continuous will be involving intervals. So every time we get continuous random variable, we draw out our interval. So this interval only have one function. So for the first one, find the value of k. So as we know, if we have continuous random variable, its characteristic is the total probability must be equal to 1. So it means that its area must be equal to 1. So because this is continuous random variable, it has a graph. So it has its linear graph. This is a linear graph. Uh, linear graph because kx part a, we integrate from 1 until 5 for our function here, for our area here, must be able equals to 1. We find out our k value, starting our integration, power tambah 1 over power baru, upper limit 5, lower limit 1. And then, substitute our upper limit, which is 5 square times k, minus 1 square times k, equals to 1. So here is 25 minus 1, it will give you 24. 24k over 2. So 24k over 2, it gives you 12k. Then k equals to 1 over 12. So therefore, our interval here, we have 1 over 12x. After we get our k value, we use it. We have 1 over 12x. So how to draw the graph for part D? So when you want to draw the graph, you will use the concept of piecewise. So here only have one function only. So one piece for this interval. You are starting from coordinate 1 until coordinate 5. So before we start drawing our graph, we need our coordinate phase, our starting point and ending point. So when x coordinate is 1, coordinate will be equal to 1 over 12. When x coordinate is 5, our coordinate y will be 5 over 12. Okay, so after we getting this point, we can start drawing where y axis is our function, then x axis, our random variable. So our interval start from 1 and 5. Uh, so 1 and 5. When coordinate 1, the height of the point is 1 over 12. So this is our starting point of our curve or our graph. And then when x coordinate is 5, our coordinate up to 5. So you can follow your skill. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will be at here. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our ending coordinate happen at x equals to 5, y equals to 5 over 12. Then we look at our function here. So what's the graph joining these two points? This is a linear graph, linear function. So linear function, the shape will be straight line. So we will use our ruler and join these two points by straight line. So this is how we draw our function to get this fx. Okay, then we go for, uh, make sure your graph is labeled fx, label your x, uh, label your function here. This is 1 over 12x. Labeling your graph is very important. Then we go for part C. So if you want to find this, probability means you need to find the area. When you want to find probability, means you want to find the area more than 4. So we will integrate, start from 4 because your Interval 4 is at here. Interval 4 is at here. So you want this region. You want this area. In the integrate 4 to 5 for our function. So make sure we write our step clearly. Power tambah 1 over power baru. Upper limit 5. Lower limit 4. We just write out the step. Later on, we can use our calculator to find out this integration. Okay. So write the step clearly. Upper limit minus lower limit then we press calculator for this it will give you 3 over 8 okay then we continue if you want your area if you want the probability between 2 and 3 so in continuous uh, we doesn't take notes on their equal got equal or not it's not important as long as it is the area for value of 2 to 3 so for 2 to 3 inside here you will integrate from 2 to 3, same function, respect to x. So for integration, don't forget to write your dx. If you didn't write your dx, we will minus your mark. Okay, your integration, your dx is very important. Then we do the integration as usual. Upper limit minus lower limit. So this is our area. 